before sending me things yeah guys uh elgu sent me a free printer i'm gonna review it looking good so far i would give it a nine out of ten i'm not sure how many of you have seen shark tank they make this plastic wheel that has a soft rubber plastic on the outside. Notice how the outside is a soft rubber and then the inside is a hard plastic. This is probably not the smartest first TPU project. I've never actually printed a TPU before. Oh, we made a hissing noise. That means it was sealed. action going on you know what I mean I went for the complete opposite the red to my blue the blue to my red the yin to my yang I wish this printer could do multi-material that would just be crazy I can't wait till like the base models of all the 3d printers can just do 10 materials somehow this turned out great I just threw this together in like half an hour we might have some troubles with the TPU like through this area. I nailed, I think I nailed like the uh, the spinal groove right there. Be nice and cushiony for you. God damn. 25 hours, 44 minutes. About 400 grams of Elgu filament. Less than 10 bucks. Super clean. Su feels super sturdy too gotta be sturdy otherwise it will break under my back the size I think turned out uh, quite nice kind of fits my back nicely probably oh time to test the structural integrity all right here we goes nothing God, Woo. I feel like I just, uh, oh, I feel like I just went to the chiropractor. Might have grew a couple inches. Definitely not. Definitely still 5'9". I've never printed TPU before and I literally just loaded up some generic TPU settings. So, oh my God, this might have a shot at working. All right, we're about four hours in. Everything looks great so far but it is important to fail quickly stop Stretch is over fine. It's a nice flower. I don't know. Maybe we could go half the width and it'd be okay. New idea unlocked. TPU Frisbee. Oh my god, it's almost done. 
47 hours and 47 minutes later. No way it messes up at this point. This is going to be a fun D support. Oh my god, it's squishy. Well, it's adhered to the surface very well. Yeah, I got pretty good bed adhesion. This is dangerous. This is where you can like hurt yourself when you're doing stuff like this. My uncle is trying to do something similar with like, not something 3D printed related, but he was using a butter knife to pry something or cut something. And he nearly cut his finger off, so. Nice. Wow, this feels crazy. It's so soft. Oh God. I need one of those things that puts on tire treads. There we go. Well, we're halfway there. I kind of figured this was gonna be an issue. The indentation, the spinal cord indentation is too big for the rim. The spinal cord indentation is too big for the rim. How strong's your PLA? I thought that was working for a second, but I don't think that I don't think it did anything. This is what I gotta do right here. Yup, just like that. I'm using a sort of wedging technique. Hopefully, get this done without breaking everything. I did it and it didn't break and we're not gonna discuss how I did it, but one thing I know is this is never coming off the rim ever again. I feel like if I made four of these, I could make like a go-kart, like a Mario Kart. But this is cool. And it will probably crack your back. The quality is just amazing. It doesn't feel like 3D printed. It feels like something I bought. Before we get into the back cracking, I wanna give you my overall synopsis of the Elgu Neptune 3 Pro. The screen is cool and I like how it's on a cord. I have never printed with TPU before. This is my first ever TPU print. I put it on there, didn't really mess with any settings, I just clicked print and it just printed for two days straight and the print quality is just fantastic. That being said, I only have about, you know, 72 hours print time on this yet, so I can't really judge the longevity of the printer. One thing I'm noticing is that there's like a powder that's forming on the front side of the, the wheel. But other than that, I mean, a wheel is easy enough to change, honestly. This thing goes for 230 bucks, and I would 
yeah, I would highly recommend going with the Neptune over something like an Ender. 10 inch chirp wheel, $49.99. I probably have about $15 into this. Will this quality match up to the Dick's Sporting Goods chirp wheel? I'm getting on the grubby ass floor in the name of YouTube videos. Whoa, it's a lot more comfortable now and it doesn't try to spin out on you. Oh. Oh, that's way better. Oh, oh my God. Oh, this is definitely $50 worth of back cracking. I cracked at least 12 verte vertebra vertebrae with that. Yeah, I'm happy with how this turned out. I'm gonna take this home and probably use this. All you need is $15 in material, a $230 printer, and three days of printing time. And then you don't even have to pay the $50 at Dick's Sporting Goods.